to Football Manager 2018 with FC Groningen in the Eredivisie in Holland. We are a couple of days, well we're one day away from our first game of the season, which is against, which I've just found out, local rivals SC Heerenveen. And then later on in the episode we're also going to have probably the best team in the country and that is Ajax. Before we go anywhere, let's talk about the transfer news. The window is still open. I have brought in two players. Two players have gone out on loan. First up is Tim Waterink, who's gone on loan to FC MN. He's hopefully going to get some first team football. And David Brown, the 21 year old Papua New Guinean striker, has also gone out on loan to RKC. Inbound, we have brought in Dino Hotic, 22 year old Slovenian footballer. Um. Judging by the positions he can play, he's a footballer. I'm probably, and I'm not quite sure whether it'll work, I'm probably going to be playing him in the central midfield role. I'll show you in a minute why, but that's kind of the position that I'm going to play him in. Although he does have the ability to play as a left winger, a defensive midfielder and a right winger naturally. So who knows? Dino has come in for 600k, which is quite a lot of money considering I only had 2.2 million pounds and I was over my wage budget. I'm still over my wage budget, and it's increased. Next through the door is Gregor Breinberg, 25-year-old Aruban central midfielder. He is joined for £1.4 million from NEC, also in the Eredivisie. I think they were the Eredivisie. They're Dutch, anyway. He's come in. Very good player. My scouts said he was 2.5 star. When he joined, he's now 3.5 star, so I'm very happy with that. One of the reasons why I brought this guy in, same as Hottage actually, is natural fitness is very high. That was one of the things that my um, my coaches were saying wasn't very good. So I thought, let's try and get some players with some actual natural fitness. Let's see whether having, having the ability to play 90 minutes helps. So yeah, not exactly an eventful transfer window so far. There are rumours the Mamun Ma Mahi, Mahi, that's his name, isn't it? Him, Mahi, he might be on, on his way out. Like, there's still a lot of clubs interested in him so far. Nobody's made a bid. Another bit of news, which is kind of pointless, really. Kevin Begoy, the 35-year-old Belgian substitute goalkeeper, has broken his leg, so he's out for five to six months. So we won't be seeing him anytime soon. Let's get on to the Heerenveen game, and hopefully, let's pick up our first points of the season. Here we go then, first game of the season. We're at home, which is not a bad thing to start with. Heerenveen are one of probably the, the slightly better sides in the league. They're probably on par with us, I wouldn't say they're, they're massively better. Then again, I've never managed Groningen before, so this could go one of two ways and I'm always expecting the worst. The formation we're going to go for then is 4-4-2. Four, four, Simple as that. I have very rarely used 4-4-2 four, four, on Football Manager. I'm hoping it works well in the Dutch leagues. I'm not sure. We'll find out. The starting lineup we're going to go for then in goal is Sergio Pat. The back four of Django Warmerdam. War I'm going to struggle for the first few episodes with this. Django is the left back. Larsen and T. Weirich are the two central defenders. Zifwik is the right back. Midfield quartet on the left hand side is going to be Dino Hotic. I said I was going to play him as a central midfielder. I've changed my mind already. Gregor Breinberg, the new signing, is going to be the advanced playmaker next to Janino Bakuna. Mimun Mahi is going to be the right-sided midfielder. Hotic and Mahi should probably be playing further up, so I might at some point push them a little bit further forward. Not sure yet. Two strikers are Tom Van Wiert and Lars Veldwijk. This is going to be a very, very difficult test. Hotic has been given the number seven squad number. I had nothing to do with that. For some reason, we're playing in the 2D match. I'm not planning on playing in the 2D match engine. They're playing a fancy, fancy formation. But hold on, their entire back four are new signings, making his debut. What? Hold on, were you... Well, okay, I thought you were called a wonder kid. Your name is Lucas Wunderberg. Okay, uh, making debut... They're, literally, everyone's making a debut for them. The assistance team talk wasn't massively convincing. Here we go then. Oh, I haven't put a silly suit on. I need to change that. I need to make sure that I'm wearing probably a green suit. Just so I can fit in with the uh, with the Groningen players. Like I said earlier, I'm going to struggle massively with a lot of these names. Particularly, Warm Warmerdan. Warmerdan, our left back, is going to be a challenge. I think, uh, basically the defence, apart from Larsen. I can say Larsen. 
free kick for Groningen. It's just over the bar by Velvike. It's also not Groningen, it's Groningen. 20 minutes into our first game as the Groningen manager. We have one highlight. We are looking like the better side, although possession-wise, Heerenveen are running away with it. Free kick for Heerenveen in their own half. Thorsby with the ball to Schaas. Schaas to Van Amersfoort. Reza. Reza, I think he used to play. It was a great tackle. Oh, my word. I think Reza used to play for Charlton. I think that's that player. Charles with the ball again. Van Amersfoort. To, 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 that guy gets it. We're, it's coming back at us. It's coming back towards them. Brian Berg. I'm so. I'm just terrible. I'm. I need to work out how to say people's names. I'm or just by English players. English players might be easier. Thorsby to Shars. I'm actually good at their names. Bakuna with the tackle. Veldvik to Van Wirt. Van Wirt needs some option to find Veldvik again. The six foot five target man. Hotic's ball. Van Wirt at the back post. We are one nil up. Dino Hotic with the assist. Tom Van Wirt with the goal. We've moved up to seventh. I feel like that's irrelevant. We are beating our rivals in our first ever game in charge of FC Groningen. Van der Steen with a free kick for Heerenveen. It's going to go to Warm Warmerdan. <laughs> Why can't I say that? Hotic backs to Warmerdan again. Velvik doesn't win the header. Reza. Reza for Heerenveen. Plays it back to Charles. Charles to Van Armersfoot. De Fuyck gets it back to Pad, the goalkeeper. Kicked upfield. Intercepted. Zanelli. Zanelli to Reza. Reza's not got any options. Larson tackles. Bakuna doesn't quite get there. De Fuyck manages to get it clear. Nace. Nace back to Pierre. Here and Vina passing it around, but we do keep stopping them. And then stuff like that happens. Van Wiertz gets the ball, needs to play it. Why didn't he play it out on the wing to the really fast Moroccan? Veldwijk's in the area. Can he cross it in? He does cross it in. And Janino Bakuna at the back post makes it 2-0. Is this working? Have I actually got a tactic that works? Is 4-4-2 the way to play this season's football manager? We are struggling for possession, but we are winning. So I'm not sure that it's a big problem. Just before half time, Van der Steen with a goal kick. There's two minutes of injury time to play. Larson gets there, looking very tired, but that's because he was injured just at the end of pre-season. Fought through ball. Van Wiert is running in on goal. He's had a go from just inside the area. He's hit it over the bar. Hopefully that brings it to half time at 2-0. It does make it 2-0 at half time. We are looking pretty good for our lead. In terms of shots anyway, in terms of possession, not very good at all. We're just going to go straight into the second half. Team talk was non-existent really. Um, basically, I get the assistant manager to do my team talks because I can't be bothered because I always cock them up. The only time I do them is when I'm angry. 15 minutes into the second half. We've had no highlights so far, which I'm, I'm okay with. I'm actually quite okay with that. Reza has gone off injured, so they've got a new striker on in Jay Horncamp. 70 minutes now. Let's do let's do some subs. Now in Holland, you get a ridiculous subs bench. You get literally 12 subs. So I'm I'm I don't know half the players. I'm gonna bring off Mahi because he's not having a very good game. We're gonna bring on Oldenberger as a right side midfielder. Is he a is he a youth player? He's 21, I'd assume he's he's a youth player, and he's also not too bad. I'm also going to bring on Van Neef for Warmenden, because I can't say his name very well, but I can say Van Neef. 72 minutes, and we've got a highlight just after the substitutions. Van Neef on the ball. Breinberg, Breinberg, ball forward. Van Wiert doesn't get there. Zanelli's going to get there. No, he doesn't. Oldenberger gets there. Oldenberger, the new the new substitute. Veldvik's in the area. Veldvik's made it 3-0. We are 3-0 up against local rivals here in Veen. I'm not even sure what's happened here. We've, we're top of the table. We're top of the table. I know it's one game, but we're top of the table. Are here in Veen playing badly? Are we the best team in Holland? I'm not quite sure. I'm going with probably the first one. Three minutes of normal time to play. Oh, we do have a highlight. Woodenberg to Vlap. Back to Woodenberg. Thorsby. Thorsby gets past his player. Zanelli's in the area. He's put it in. He's offside. I can see the little linesman down the bottom flagging. Three minutes of injury time. I'm hoping... Well, it's, they're not going to get anything from this game, so it does look like we're going to end up winning 3-0. The final few seconds of the game. Bakuna on the ball. Doesn't matter. It's all over. It is 3-0. That's, that's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. If you've watched my other couple of saves on Football Manager 2018, you'll know that I don't win games. And not only I don't win games, 
I don't score many goals either. So to win a game 3-0 in my first ever game, I'll take that. So, after one game, we're top of the table. That's that's some good reading, although VVV Venlo, or VV Venlo, I don't know how many Vs are in that, it's VVV. They are also joint top with the same goal difference. So, there has been literally no draws in the first week. Let's move on to the IX game. I think the transfer window is still open, so some transfer business might happen. They won't be coming in, but players might be leaving. It's time for the Ajax game then. They are all the way down in ninth place. They did still win and they played against Heracles. They had 21 shots to Heracles' one, but they only scored one. So I'm expecting them to be coming out swinging with a lot of shots. I am going to play exactly the same. The same starting lineup as I played in the last game. So Pat in goal, Warmadam, Larson, T. Wyrek, and Ziffweek as the back four. Hottich, Breinberg, Bakunia, and Mahi as the midfield. Velvike and Van Wiert as the two strikers. I think I got that first time. Maybe. Probably not. Interestingly, looking at the Ajax starting lineup, they're playing very narrow. They do have a very good. Uh, they've got a very good side. Let's be honest. Look at them: Justin Clover, Casper Dolberg, Schöne. Or is it Shona Schoner? Don't know. Sinkraven, Frankie De Jong, Van der Beek, Wuber, De Ligt, Veltman. Oh, that, that team's ridiculous. And I suspect their bench is just as good. This is our first away trip of the season. I don't know whether this is a... Is it far? Is a Kronigan to Amsterdam particularly far? I, I don't know whether it is. This is also considered a derby match. This is a historic derby as opposed to a local one, but it's still a derby game. 15 or so minutes in... We are not having any chances at all, we are not having much of the ball at all, but we're also not getting any highlights. 35 minutes in, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to try and play on the counter-attack. Uh, Possession-wise, terrible. Shots-wise, we've had zero. So maybe we can counter them, possibly. Just before half-time, we've got a highlight. It wasn't a good throw from Zifweek, who I think is actually on loan from Ajax, so I'm not quite sure how we can play Sinkgraven into the penalty area. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Daily Sinkgraven makes it 1-0 just before half-time. First highlight and first goal. It is half-time. I genuinely don't think we've done anything. I don't think we've even got the ball into their half. Team talk wasn't exactly very good. Who's my assistant manager? Who's it? Peter Hoekstra. Didn't he used to play for Cardiff or someone like that? Now, I don't normally do this. I don't really look at the analysis too much. I probably should. Um, so there's the heat maps. You'll see there's a massive difference between Ajax's and ours. We have no possession. Our goalkeeper has had most possession from our team. Right. I've stuck on two new instructions. I've done clear the balls to the flanks because I'm hoping Mahi and Hottich have got a bit of pace, so maybe they can run onto it, because they, they don't have anyone in those areas. I've also stuck retain possession on, because we, we're we not doing it. We're barely touching the ball, so hopefully, let's see, maybe that'll work. I'm not going to do any subs. Everyone's, well, no one's playing well, but that's because no one's playing well. If you told me, at the start of this game, you'd be 1-0 down at half-time, and there'd be no highlights, I'd probably take that. Is this actually a highlight? Mahi gets the balls, if weeks in front of him, if he needs him, he's Gone it alone, crossed it in, and it's it's a goal kick. It's not a highlight. I got too excited about that. This, however, is a highlight. Is it going to be for Ajax? Larson gets it clear. Hold on. Van Wert into the area. Onana makes a save. It's going to be a corner. Definitely, definitely just pump the ball upfield. Run onto it, because Van Wert's got some pace. Breinberg to take the corner. It's not a good corner. Mahi gets it edge of the area. Plays it to Hotic. Hotic needs to go somewhere. Plays it backwards to Larson. Larson, who I've just seen Larson was number 10 and he's my centre back. Another highlight, Pat with the goal kick. Van Witt, is he going to win a header? He doesn't. Van der Beek gets it upfield. Warmendam to Hotic. Hotic needs a runner. Finds Breinberg. Finds Veldwijk. Veldwijk's been tackled by De Jong. De Ligt. Sinkgraven. Schona to Sinkgraven again, the goal scorer. Plays over the halfway line to Justin Clivert, who, if you've ever played this game, you've probably bought him. Dolberg's in the area. What a save that is from Sergio Pat. Dolberg does get it back. Joel Veltman, the captain by the looks of it, showing up. Vormadan gets it clear. It's, I thought it was going to come straight back out as it doesn't. Right, I'm doing a change, and I don't know whether it's a good idea. What I've done is I have dropped Veldvijk into an advanced playmaker, then brought him off for Jesper Drust. I then put Mahi and Hotic more as actual proper wingers. Is Hotic better at something else? 
He's... No, he's not. Okay, so Hotic is just going to be a winger on that side. Warm and Dan's going to come off again for Van Neef. Let's let's go. I mean, I don't think we're going to get much from it, but ha hopefully having two wingers out wide means when we do lump it into those areas, someone's there to get the ball. 64 minutes. It's a free kick. Clivert. Clover, edge of the area. Sinkraven again has a go. He's hit the bar. Brian Bug's going to get it clear. Is this a counter-attack or is it the end of the highlight? Mahi gets the ball. Look at all of the numbers running forward and back for Ajax. Mahi takes it out wide. Gone round his man. It's gone to Woba. It's cleared by Veltman in the end. 73rd minute. Hottich on the ball just over the halfway line. Kicks it forward. Finds Mahi. Mahi's in the penalty area. Puts it in Mahi. It's a, he's, he's played it across the goal. Anana makes a save. It's going to be a throw on. We've come back into this game. We really have. I don't know whether I should take it off counter, though. Approaching the 90th minute. Right, we've got... Nope, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. And we're going to go overload. What's the worst that can happen? Losing 1-0 or losing 2-0? If we get a goal, great. Or nothing will happen. That's another thing that could take place. We've got to the 92nd minute corner. Breivag's there. Larson's there. Onana comes out and makes a save. It is going to be a 1-0 victory for Ajax. But... I think we did alright. Once I sorted out the formation, once I kind of worked how to play against what Ajax were doing, I think we did okay. So after two games, we're sat fifth in the table. Obviously, it's far too early to tell whether we're going to stay there or not, but I'm happy with the fifth place. We do still have about a week and a half, two weeks left of the transfer window. I'm not planning on making any transfers. I know Mahi is He's he's basically some there's some attention for Mahi from some other clubs. I'm not planning on selling him. If they come in with an offer that I can't refuse, he might be gone, which means we might end up replacing him. Next episode, we're gonna go somewhere around here, maybe Willem Twe, Sparta, Heracles, maybe Vitesse Feyenoord. I'm, I don't know, I've not worked it out yet. That's gonna do it then for this episode. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time for more FC Groningen. I, I, I'm sure that's not right. It doesn't sound right.